So once your mounting nose stone is set, you can now open your articulator. It's a good time then to change the setting on the incisal guide pin to a plus two, which will allow for the thickness of the wax record. You set it at a plus two. This doesn't represent two millimeters, it's just two. Two large lines on that index. Rotate it over. Now you can remove the uh, mounting fixture and the bite fork assembly and replace that with the original incisal guide table and remove the support stand and then it's time to place the new mounting plate for the lower model. At this point now you need to incorporate the use of the mounting stand and you do that by taking the model and carefully on the articulator carefully engaging the pin by the analog at the condyle area air fossa area and also on the other side so that now you have this configuration for your setup this is set to a plus two this has been mounted and the stone is hardened and we're ready now to attach the, mac the mandibular model to the maxillary model. So I will take the mandibular model and the wax record and replace the wax record on the maxillary teeth, just like they were in the patient's mouth when we did the uh, diagnostic measurements. So now you've got it set on the maxillary, place the mandibular also. At this point, you get an elastic band and you take it, wrap it around and underneath the main knob on the upper member of the articulator and then you carefully stretch it out and over the mandibular model bringing it down and under and back around that large knob on the upper member of the articulator so now you're held by the elastic band into the wax record so that your mounting is firmly placed in the wax record. It takes a little bit of manipulating and then always check to make sure that the teeth on the model are firmly seated exactly into the wax record. At this point I will also lower the support pin so that the model is more the surface is more parallel to the tabletop so that when you add your stone it's not going to run off. We're now ready to add the mounting stone so we'll mix that up and I'll show, demonstrate how that is done. At this point it's also a good idea to estimate how much mounting stone is going to be needed to put the mounting stone into the gap that remains between the mounting plate and the lower model. It's also important when you're doing the lower mounting, since it is a centric mounting, to make sure that your centric lock pin on the articulator is engaged and you're working in the hinge axis of the articulator for this mounting. So now that you've mixed your mounting stone, place it in position and again, use the edge of your bowl to direct it onto the model like that. So you're not shaking and jerking around with it. Just put it in place. Scoop it down with the bowl, or with, yeah, with the bowl. Now you're ready to rotate the model, the articulator up and over and into position, like so. Again, you can clean up any excess that overflows and bring it into the indexes that you made.
generally your elastic will hold it in place while you do these minor corrections. Again, it's important where possible to avoid getting excess blue mounting stone outside of the borders of the lower model. 